Jones. Bonjour. Bye-bye. Oh, okay. Can I stay for two nights? Yeah, yeah, you can go. With a tent? Yeah, yeah, you can go. Okay. Over there? Number 14. And Turkey, it's good for you? Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Trebia. And hello the internet and everybody who's following me and hello to my subscriber You're looking good today. Anyway, here I am. I'm in Taft Root and Look at this view behind me. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful so uh, and Look at this all around me Morocco is an absolutely stunning country so yesterday was a good day when i got to the campsite last night it was quite late and it was starting to go dark and i needed to get food so i thought i would do this um i thought i'd do this in the morning so it's the next morning and i got to tafroot yesterday and what a great day um well it started off a bit boring first off i got up i left the campsite camping at Lantique about about 10 and just to, well, a bit before that, but just as I was leaving, there was a Brit couple arrived. So I stopped, I saw the registration plates, and we had a good old chinwag. And uh, like me, um, they'd been down to Senegal, Gambia, Senegal, and they were hoping to go further south. But because of the fuel crisis in Guinea and Sierra Leone, um, they've come back. So they're heading back to Europe. Um, and they're not the only ones. I've met about six bikes so far who also were heading north um because they couldn't get any further south because of the fuel crisis there's just no petrol in guinea or sierra leone anyway i finally got going just after 10 went into tan tan got insurance for the bike and it was a week two weeks or a month so i got a month just to be on the safe side and that cost me 98 euros um it was 68 euros for a week 80 euros for two weeks and 98 for a month so i got a month uh, left there and then I joined the N1 highway heading north and it's all four lane highway and it's just boring but what made it a little bit hairy yesterday there's a really strong wind from the east a really strong wind and a lot of the way the bike I was having to lean the bike into the wind um, and it was quite scary the scariest bits was overtaking trucks because you get behind a truck and it's like a a vortex and as you start overtaking it it drags you in and then as you get to the front of it you hit the wind again oh and it tries to knock you the other way the worst ones are, are coaches um because you get alongside them and it's a real vortex it just tries to drag you in but uh anyway and i got about oh, about two thirds of the way i came off and strangely enough, i came off onto an a road and strangely enough that's when the wind started to die but anyway so but for most of the trip i've had this horrible wind at one point i went through like a dust storm which was really spooky and really eerie um but my visor i had to stop and clean my visor anyway uh got off the n1 started heading east and then after a little while i found the p1919 which started to take me north to tafroot um after about a mile or so it's they were like resurfacing the road in fact what they were doing was obviously replacing the road because then after a while i hit like dirt which wasn't too bad but then i hit this gravel and it was really big thick gravel it wasn't very it wasn't compacted it's just like they'd left they just laid it oh and it was like riding through treacle 
and this went on for a couple of miles. This went on for about a mile, this gravel. At one point, I felt like crying because my back wheel kept bedding down. My front wheel was all over the place. It was horrible. But I'd come, so I wanted to turn around, but try to turn around the bike, no way. Uh, so I just had to plod on. And by the time I got to the end of it, oh, I, was nearly, I was absolutely exhausted. But the road works where they're replacing the road lasted about five miles. And what they do here, it's strange because instead of just doing bit by bit, they just take out a whole road and just replace it. And uh, strange, but um, anyway, got going again. And then I got onto another road. Oh, and then it was absolutely superb. At about 10 miles of bendy bits. And I'm out of practice because once I left Morocco a couple of months ago and started heading south, all the roads are straight. Everything's straight. And I've not done bends for a while. So all of a sudden these bends started. But anyway, I started getting my hand back again and getting a bit quicker and getting a bit quicker. And by the time I got to Tough Root, I had a grin from here to here. It was superb. Absolutely superb bends. Really sharp ones. One's going up, one's going down. Got bends and bends and bends. Absolutely superb. And uh, I really enjoyed that bit. But um, I got to be at campsite about five. And it's great. It's a beautiful little campsite. Absolutely beautiful. The owners are really friendly, speak a little bit of English. Um, and it's 75 dirhams a night, which is about, about £3.50. Um, also, it's 15 dirhams extra if you want a shower. So I bought two showers. So I, I took it to, uh, in fact, no, seven and a half. That's so it's about four and a half pounds. And then with the shower, it took, took it to £5 a night. I honestly cannot complain at £5 a night. It's a really, really nice campsite. They've even got a restaurant as well. Um, last night I was still sorting myself out so I just did my own but tonight I'm going to go to the restaurant and because uh, apparently it's really good um, there's lots of French on the campsite it's strange in Morocco wherever you go there's just loads and loads of French all of retirement age and I think what a lot of the um, people who retire in France do when it comes to winter they just come to Morocco and there's camp hands camper vans motorhomes all over the place um, some of them are really luxurious motorhomes but, um, but as you start going south then you see fewer and fewer and once you get to the Sahara you don't see many French at all that's when you start seeing all the Germans and as you get further and further south it's Germans, Dutch, the occasional Italian and the occasional French don't see any Brits so where are all the Brits? where are all the intrepid British travellers? but uh, anyway so I'm in Tafroot and today I'm going to go for a ride. There's a gorge nearby. I'm going to see what this gorge is like. And uh, I'm just going to ride around the local area. I may stay another day. I may go tomorrow. We'll see. But, um, but at the moment, superb. Having a great time. Thanks for watching. Um, from beautiful Morocco. It's like, um, it's quite surreal really because... Uh, I wanted to come here because it's of all these stone structures and they really are unusual. I've never seen anything quite like it. But um, it's like a giant. I've just put lots of marbles on top of each other. But um, really beautiful, really stunning. Anyway, I'm going to go for a ride now and I'll catch up with you again soon and bye bye.
and hello the internet and what a nice little ride that was what I did was um, it was a circular route and I headed south southeast heading for a place called the Mansour Gorge and um, it was about 40 odd miles to get there and lots of little windy roads, um, switchbacks, all sorts of things. And then you finally get down to this gorge and it was beautiful. Unfortunately, there's just no water in the gorge at the moment, uh, which I think would have been quite exciting to see because the gorge was huge. But I followed it all the way down and then you come all the way to south east and then you start doubling back and then you come back again um, to Tarfoot and... It was about 100, about 100 miles, maybe 95, 90 miles, 90, 100 miles. Oh, I was, um, but even on the way back, there was, and it's all B roads as well, so it's all the little mountain roads right, right through the mountains. Absolutely superb. And uh, that was a good couple of hours. In fact, that was all, that was my afternoon. But um, I've put a little bit of video together just so you can see yourself. It doesn't last long, but what a great little ride that was. But uh, anyway. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.